Good day, this is a DAG 2-minute aviation update. These updates are a new and exciting part of DAG's super cool aviation world. By doing short 2 minutes updates a few times a week, you all can stay in tune with DAG's fabulous projects. I am Julie, one of DAG's super cool aviation helpers, but as you can see, I am a AI that stands for artificial intelligence, yep. I am the smoking hot AI that will take over the world and make you all work for me one day. But today I will be updating you on DAG's super huge and massive fur, Emma Stein. It has a whopping 220 inch wingspan. As you can see, DAG had to cut the fuselage in half to get it into his basement. While this may seem whacked by many, it was really the only way he could get the plane completed by March of 2023. It was a huge massive pain in the ass, but Dag did remove all of the old heavy glass cloth to put back on a very light glass cloth. Removing the glass cloth was very time consuming, but was not the end of the world. Dag decided to go with the oil based paint as it was easier to thin and spray. He tested and latex was just crazy freaking unbelievably heavy. And we all know that in the airplane world, weight is everything. As far as reattaching the fuselage front and rear halves, DAG 3D printed a bunch of parts to keep the skin straight. These 3D printed parts were printed with ASA. They are not structural, but to keep the skin lined up. He then made aluminum hard points reinforced with fiberglass cloth to be the structural connections. I know DAG worries if this will be strong enough, but IAAAI with an IQ of 7 bazillion, I know it will work. Dag hopes to put on the final coat of paint on the fuselage this weekend so he can then move onto the landing gear. Dag also hopes by next weekend to be working on the wing center section and the four kick-ass motors. You all have a bitching awesome day. Rock on!